Hi friends, welcome back to the blog. Thank you so much for listening to these videos. Thank you for reading my blog posts. I really appreciate it. So I'm at my daughter's soccer practice today, um, just kind of waiting it out. They're an hour and a half long now. Uh, we went from 45 minutes to an hour and a half practice. Um, so I'm sure she's dying out there in the sun and I get to sit in the truck. Um, and wait for her. So I figured I'd shoot this video really quick. So I'm sorry if there's any shakiness. Um, I don't really, I'm not, don't have a good setup in my truck for taking these videos. So anyway, uh, being a certified personal trainer, I get questions about training. And um, one of the ones that I get pretty frequently is, can I break my exercise sessions up into shorter segments? And the answer to that is yes. And the reason that I actually like to do things that way, especially for new exercisers, is that it doesn't leave as bad a taste in your mouth for exercise. It's really hard if you try and go from not exercising at all to exercising for 30 minutes at a time or 60 minutes at a time. Um, I think we've all been there and you know you start out um, with a lot of motivation but it isn't long before you really dread those sessions. And you don't wanna get to that point. You actually want to, um, you wanna try and enjoy the exercise that you do. One of the ways that you can do that is to break your session up into smaller, um, into smaller chunks that are spread throughout your day. So in the morning, take a 10 minute walk after breakfast. In the afternoon, after lunch, take another 10 minute walk. Take another 10 minute walk uh, right after dinner. And so breaking it up in this way, you're, you're burning the same amount of calories, um, whether you're doing a single 30 minute session or whether you break it up into three 10 minute sessions. So there's no difference in calorie burn and in fact, studies have shown that if you do exercise spread throughout your day, it's actually more beneficial. There are more health benefits to doing it that way because it keeps you moving throughout the day, which is really important. Um, and also, if you time the exercise for after a meal, it can bring your insulin response to that meal down. Um, and I've mentioned before in some of my other videos that insulin is the storage hormone. So if you overeat, insulin is the hormone circulating in your blood that tells your cells to store calories as fat. And so if you can bring your insulin levels down, your circulating insulin levels, um, it can help you not store those extra calories as fat. So taking a walk after your meals, even if it's just 10 minutes, um, can be very helpful for that. And um, you know, just for a couple of other little tips that I didn't mention um, in my actual blog post, I wanted to give you a couple here in this video. So if you've listened this far, you'll get a couple of extra tips. Um, Try and walk outside or whatever you're, whatever you're gonna do for your 10 minute segment, try and do it outside because studies show that people who get outside for exercise are happier, they're healthier, they're less stressed, and that's all gonna help you burn extra fat and just be a healthier human being in general. Um, the, other thing that, um, the other thing that you can try is during your 10 minute segment, um, add in some micro bursts of, you know, a little bit higher intensity work. And when I say that, all I'm really asking you to do is walk a little faster. So for example, for one minute, uh, speed walk, walk a little faster, even break into a little bit of a jog. You do that for one minute and then you go back to your normal pace for one minute and you do that until the end of your session. So if you're doing a 10 minute session, that means you're going to do about, you're gonna do five intervals that are at the speed walking pace and then you're gonna do five slower ones. Um, and so that not only makes your workout go by faster um, or it will seem much faster, um, it will also give you that little bit of, uh, you know, slightly higher intensity work during your session, um, which is actually really good for you. It burns more calories that way. Um, so overall, that's a really good, um, that's a really good strategy if you're trying to up your calorie burn and uh, maybe even increase your cardiovascular health a little bit. So I hope that this was helpful. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to get out of here. My daughter's almost done with soccer, so we can. it's almost time for us to go home. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have questions, please feel free to post in the comments below my blog or contact me. My email is kellybailey1980 at gmail.com. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.